Yo, this is Brown Horse, man, the big bird in the hood. And fly here and focus urban bridge. Pushing peaks, now we got it. Couple else, now we reach. Now I'm out with the gang cruising hard in the Brown Hush. First, I'll start. Brown Hush is me, huh? And Brown Hush is a young, an ambitious young man, a dream chaser, someone who believes in himself. You get me? So, growing up, I have like. Brown Hush is someone with a vision, a picture myself as big as you can't even imagine. So Brown Hush, I mean, another name for me I'll give myself, you can call me Big, because everything I do and everything I see is big, you get me? Yeah. I, I remember the first song I actually really put it out there on social media, on my YouTube. It was Blessings. I mean, I've been doing music on the ground, but Blessings was the first song I actually put out there for the people. When I released that, I mean, I've been recording, but I wasn't, like, I wasn't really comfortable with the work. I was, like, I thought it wasn't good enough to put it out there for the hearing of the people. So, after I put this in, I mean, I felt like I did something great, get me? But my next release after that made me see that first song. Something like, I feel like that's the workest song I ever made. That's just to tell you, once you like, when you progress, music is something you do consistently, you get me? You drop this, when you drop another song tomorrow, you see that one. My music is more of, I mean, I get a lot of, comp I get a lot of things from people like, I don't represent culture, like where I come from. I mean, cause you know, as an African kid into music, most people expect you to just, I mean, if it's not Afro, then you're not really African, but I'm just being me, you get me? I can't do what, I'm not good at it. I mean, I found myself in hip hop. I found what I like. Hip hop is what I know best, what I could do best. So that's me. When I look back and tell myself I'm successful, but you know, success never ends. So I can't really give myself, like, put myself at a certain point that I'll say I'm successful. Like right now, when I look at myself back then and right now, I could say I'm successful. The success never ends. It's a whole journey. You get me? Yeah. But we wanna do it big. We wanna go out there, sell out shows. When the whole world is ready for my music, when the whole world is able to listen to my songs, I'll declare myself successful. So I listen more to African, like I listen more to American rappers. Mostly I'm inspired by, we have Chef G. I mean, we have Chef G, Tion Wing, he's a UK rapper, Nigerian UK. But when we talk of the legends, I listen, Someone like Meg Mill, he inspires me more, like his lyrics and all. And who else? Let me come back home. Jovi. Yeah. I fuck with him. Um, what I would say is Cameroon. I feel like one thing really dealing with our music, like really bringing down our music, like the Cameroonian music industry. 
you know the fact that we are bilingual, like we have French Cameroon and English Cameroon, is rare. Let me not say like it's not completely rare, but kind of, you get me? It's rare for you. Like you see a gathering of Francophones listening to an Anglo Cameroon music. You get me? Like when you see a French gathering, they're listening to a song, it's a French song. So I feel like if we were one, like I just I don't I don't want to use the language as a barrier, you get me? But it's affecting us, low key. Yeah. And and also I feel I think like the collaboration, when you look at Nigeria, like the collaboration among their artists, like they come up together, love up, like they work together, they believe in each other. But I feel like with us Cameroonians, for example, if you look at, I mean, those who consider us people that have made it in music already in Cameroon, they focus more on themselves. Like they don't look back at youngins growing up to like probably give them a platform out there, give them a spotlight, but they focus on themselves. I feel like, but if they start considering bringing up young artists closer to them, you get me? That will help us a lot in the music industry because there's a lot of hidden talent in this country. Expect what you should expect from me in the next five years. One thing for sure, the whole world gonna hear me. Get me? Because I believe in myself. And I believe in my music. So I put my soul and everything into it so I could come up with the best every ear that listens to my songs.